Hello, and thanks for joining us on this week's online exclusive. I'm Maggie Brown. And I'm Jack Norcross. Here are the stories we have been following this Tuesday, February 20th. In response to the high school shooting in Parkland, Florida last Wednesday, Vice President of Student Life, John Dooley, sent out an email to students about our own campus safety. Dooley recommends students download the LiveSafe app. Town of Elon police say, in the case of an active shooter, the best thing to do after notifying the police is to run. If that's not possible, Lieutenant Jim Giannotti recommends finding a safe place nearby. Lock that door, barricade that door, close your blinds, get into a, get into a corner, hunch down, cover up. If something happens and they come in the room, all I can say to you is don't be the person that just lays there. Giannotti says that fighting should only be used as a last resort for defense. After staying in the Best Western Plus Burlington for over a month, 37 Crest residents are being relocated both on and off campus. Our Cami Banky has more on where these students are going. They're packing up and moving out. Residents were given an hour to retrieve their belongings from the damaged Crest 2020 apartment one month after campus police found a partial collapse in the ceiling between the first and second floor. They were able to return to the apartment for their possessions before moving into their new homes. Elon sophomore Magnus Karlstrom is unpacking his things at the Wayfair Apartments in Burlington. With open spaces and a balcony view, he says he's happy to be out of the hotel. We had to be there, but it, it got to the point where it was, it was very draining and it was, it was hard to work. We have a um, fridge. Karlstrom plans to have all of his belongings back by this week. He says the entire situation was out of his control. A lot of it was just like things were supposed to happen and couldn't because of outside forces that we can't really, we can't really um, handle. The Crest property manager, the Price Company, says students were given the option to move to other available on-campus rooms, off-campus apartments, or the Wayfair apartment complex. In a statement to ENN, Price Company said, quote, students were given the option to make any choice they felt was most appropriate for their current situation. Carlstrom says he believes the Price Company handled the situation well. I'm really appreciative of what they've done, uh, and I think it's, it's, it's just nice to be in a space that I can call mine now. While he may be a 10 minute drive from campus, Carlstrom says a permanent home is worth the distance. It feels more personal. It feels like I'm home again. Cami Vanke, Elon Local News. Price will continue to pay for transportation costs to and from campus. All the students will be out of the Best Western by Friday. Of all the signs on Elon's campus, one seems to stand out above the rest. Our Anton Delgado met the woman behind the chalk. When walking down North Williamson Avenue, it's hard to decide where to eat, but a witty chalkboard brings customers through the doors of Pandora's Pies. The artist behind the chalkboard is Brittany Tillman, who has been working at Pandora's for almost six years. Creating the board is a task she decided to take on herself. The funny thing is, is people here are not creative at all. They don't know how to write good, they don't know how to draw, and so me, the creative one, I take over the board. Tillman uses a two-sided chalkboard and a variety of chalk colors to design the board. Depending on the weather and her creativity, Tillman usually changes the board every two days with a little help from the internet. My handwriting is really good, but when it comes to drawing, I kind of have to like look at Google or look at Pinterest and see what I can write, and that's where I get my ideas from. But all this effort doesn't come without reward. People take pictures of the sign all the time, which makes me feel really good, and then, um, People stand by it, pose by it, take pictures of it, laugh at it. It's just so funny to see. I think it's really cute. It's always like really funny. They always like have like a little like pun or a little cute message. It's really nice. I appreciate an establishment that has a bit of a sense of humor. But the laughs aren't the only benefit Tillman gets from designing the board. I just like drawing. I like coloring. I've always liked to do that, so it's kind of like my therapy. But there's a catch. I really hate chalk. <laughs> And while the sign outside is what gets people to come in, it's the Pandora's Pizza that makes them stay. Anton Delgado, Elon Local News. Make sure to keep your eyes open the next time you walk down North Williamson Avenue. Maggie, I have to say that pizza looked pretty good. Yeah, it did. I really always appreciate those signs whenever I walk by. I think they're really colorful and fun, really bring some light to downtown Elon. Don't you think so? I definitely agree. Couldn't agree more. Well, that's all the news we have for you today. Thanks so much for joining us. For all the news you need to know, follow us on our social platforms at Elon News Network, and make sure to pick up a copy of The Pendulum tomorrow. Have a great Tuesday, Elon.